everyone, welcome back. We're going to start to look at functions in Python, and we've already run into a few functions like print, print is a function, type is a function, len, len, is a function, range was another one. But we're going to learn how to write our own functions. The, uh, the ones I just mentioned were built into Python. We're going to write our own functions, and you can begin to think of a function as like a program within a program like a mini program. Uh, there's more to it than that, but that, that's how you can start to think about these things. And the reason we would want uh, you know, a function or a program within a program is that, well, there are a couple reasons. Uh, one, it helps us organize the code. So it helps us like chunk the code. Like, okay, here's this block of code is going to do something, right? This is my function. And then I'm going to have another block of code that does something else. And then uh, maybe a, a third block or a third function that does something else. And all these functions work together as a whole program to accomplish some task. So this helps organize, right? This helps get our, our thoughts to a paper or to a computer. And uh, this also helps with readability then. So you know we, we've talked about already that if you can chunk your code into blocks, that helps uh, somebody else read your code. Maybe most importantly is if we use functions, then uh, this prevents us from having to copy lines of code. like. Like we can, we, what we can do is we can, we can, we say we call the function. We can call the function a bunch of times instead of just copying the the, the function's instructions a bunch of times. And so the, now we're 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 not we're not having lots of lines. We're shortening up our code. And again, this helps with readability. But more importantly, this helps if you have to update your code, like you find a bug in your code or something. If you find a bug in your code and you have not used functions, and you, then you have to go through all of these lines, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of lines, and you have to update like all of these lines. But if you just wrote a function, and then you, um, you know, you've you've called the function's instructions a couple times, then all you have to do, it turns out, is just find the bug in the instructions, find the bug in the function, correct the the function, you know, one time, and then you're good to go. So this helps with updating. So maybe this sounds a little bit mysterious, but uh, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to check it out in the next video. Thank you.